Good morning! Hey! Welcome to another episode of Jake's Bounty. Already fucking up, alright? Um, it is Thursday, November the 11th, 2022. It's a throwback Thursday. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez, alright? Um want to go ahead and start off by thanking you guys for subscribing to my channel. I have 76 subscribers, and uh, that's two new ones uh, that I didn't have. So thank you very much, and also thank you for the views, all right? Almost at 50,000. Uh, hopefully I'll get there uh, by the end of the week. Uh, if not, I know you guys will bring me there soon, all right? Well, I want to go ahead and talk to you about music today, first provided by Possession by Cream. That was their first album entitled uh, Living So Close to the Edge. And uh, let me see if I have the picture right here. Back from 2010, January 2010, Possession by Cream's first album, a double album, uh, Possession Received, and that was the song So Close to the Edge, all right? We'll also uh, be having more from that later on, and we'll also thank our sponsors. we got Dog Training for Dummies over here at Jake's Bounty, 599, when we type the word dummy. And the Retro Challenges, the trivia puzzles for the 70s and 80s, all right? It is also 599 when you type in the word retro at my website, okay? Well, let's go ahead and get into the news. There was some news, all right? Nine-month-old baby was shot and killed in Merced. This happened on Q Street. And West 12th Street, or at 12.30 p.m., uh, I guess a car just ended up driving by uh, a family of uh, two, you know, a woman and a man, and then the baby, uh, they shot at, you know, both of them, and, and the baby ended up getting hit, and uh, I believe there was multiple gunshots from the car, all right? The suspect is still on the loose. If you happen to have any information, please let the Merced police know. Suspect rams car and steals van and then steals a truck during the violent pursuit uh, through Southern California. So he stole a truck um, first. I had the order a little mixed up, but anyway, he stole a truck and then uh, he stole a van and hit several cars in the process. Uh, he was first in a dark colored sedan, sedan, excuse me, not sedan, uh, sedan in Anaheim. And then he got into a white van stopped by a rear wheel coming off. Um, he was actually, uh, blocked in by one of the cops and he still like maneuvered himself out of there and then his wheel came off and then he had to be stopped. All right. Uh, elections have seven days to receive Ballots. A lot of people have been asking, hey, how do we know if the uh, person we elected is um, going to be in office? Well, we don't for about seven days. Uh, some cases we do know earlier because it's, you know, it's such an obvious uh, win for somebody. Uh, but in other cases, we don't know. Um, let me go ahead and say that there are 30 days to certify uh, these ballots. And one of these races that is so close that it's going to take quite some time is Rudy Salas and David Valadeo for the race for Congress, all right? And in similar news, uh, Governor Newsom wins second term. Bastard. All right, uh, suspect uh, in fatal Tulare County hit and run turns herself into CHP. She is due in court November 14th. Uh, 31-year-old Jimmy Slate Jr. was killed while pushing his bike on Avenue 144, south of Avenue 313. Uh, Jimmy uh, was a homeless person, fell on some hard times, and uh, he was hit by Shay DeJong, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Anyway, the police went to her house, she wasn't there, but she did turn herself in uh, just the following day. So now she'll be arraigned in court on November 14th, and uh, we'll bring you more of that news when we have it. All right. Well, I want to go ahead and tell you that it is Throwback Thursday. And since we're talking about all these politics and bullshit and all that, um, I don't know if you guys happen to remember this 
but uh, there was a guy named Anthony Weiner. That's right, a former uh, politician who served the U.S. Representative for New York's Ninth Congressional District from 1989 until his resignation in 2011. He had been a member of the Democratic Party. Uh, he was consistently uh, at least 60% of the vote. And then uh, he resigned in Congress in 2011 after it was revealed he sent sexually suggested photos of himself to different women. All right. Um, a two time candidate for the mayor of New York, so Wiener finished his second in the Democratic uh, primary for 2005. He ran again in 2000. 13. So even after he resigned and did all the sex team, he's like, no, I'm going to run for mayor. Um, he placed fifth in the Democratic Party, so that wasn't that bad. Um, also, he pleaded guilty in 2017 to transferring obscene material to a minor and sentenced to 21 months in prison. So he couldn't stop. He couldn't help himself. Um, he was also required to permanently register as a sex offender. Wiener began serving his federal prison term uh, the same year and was released in 2019. He's no longer married. Uh, ladies, he's no longer married. He's 58. He's a former... No, I'm um, But yeah, Anthony Weiner. Um, so let's throw it back to him and all his memories. If you want to go and look it up, uh, you can do so on many, uh, many sites. If you want to look him up on the YouTube and other uh, you know, video sites, you can as well because there's a wealth of stuff about there about Anthony Weiner. I guess he never really had it, uh, you know, a chance. His name being Anthony Weiner, of course. Um, no, that that shouldn't actually uh, hurt you at any. Well, no, I I would have changed my last name. Okay, um, <laughs> want to go ahead and tell you about the uh, stuff that I got today while looking for cans. Uh, i tell you about the cans first that I got. Uh, it didn't start out so well. I saw an older gentleman getting cans in front of me, and I was like, oh, you son of a bitch bastard. Um, but it did turn around for me. Um, I was able to get uh, about a big, another white uh, bag, 13-ounce uh, gallon size bag of cans. And uh, that was only because I stopped at this man's house. I was like, okay, maybe there'll be some here. And there was like a treasure trove, you know, beer bottles and uh water bottles and then also canned beer you know so good stuff thank you to that gentleman i was able to uh get the rest of my bag filled up by that time before i hit his house i only had half of the bag so um i do want to go ahead and uh also tell you what kind of uh cans are in the bag there was a bud light uh bottle and then an 805 can and then also a water bottle whole bunch of water bottles to be exact and then um i want to say there was um another water bottle over there behind uh k-town smokehouse and then a can over there as well and then i found this little guy uh mini bong over there the am pm uh, uh trash can i'm gonna not mm, maybe i'll clean it out maybe i'll try to use it i don't know um, maybe I'll just have it as like something to look at, you know, and be like, Hey, you know, it's a conversation piece and some shit, whatever. But yeah, I did find a bong on my excursion today and, uh, I'll probably smoke it up. But anyway, um, want to also go ahead again and, uh, tell you guys about our dog training for dummies book. We've got over here five ninety nine, which have the word dummy, but right now it's the retro challenges the trivia puzzles of the 70s and 80s, all right? So if you're a person of the 70s and 80s, uh, here we go. The Keaton family and family ties consist of Stephen, Elise, Mallory, Jennifer, and of course, Alex B. Keaton, who was, paid, who was played by which actor? Uh, was it Ralph Macchio, Michael J. Fox, Patrick Dempsey, or John Cusack? And this one should be easy. Uh, it's Michael J. Fox, all right? Uh, Ralph Macchio was obviously in The Karate Kid and The Cobra Kai. And uh, then Patrick Dempsey was in Can't Buy Me Love, as well as Meatballs 3, uh, Lover Boy, and a whole slew of other uh, movies, and then was in Grey's Anatomy. And then uh, John Cusack, oh man, he's been in a whole bunch of shitload of 80s movies. 
uh, like the movie Class, uh, also in uh, 16 Candles, he was in um, The Sure Thing, and the list goes on. He was also stayed busy uh, in the 90s and 2000s with such movies, you know, as um, Rose Point Blank, uh, High Fidelity, uh, and many more. He's still, you know, very hard at work and very well respected actor. All right, so you can go pick up the uh, retro trivia challenge puzzle 70s and 80s over here at Jake's Bounty. Five and nine, type in the word retro. Again, have the Dog Training for Dummies book over here also at Jake's Bounty. Five and nine, type in the word dummy. And uh, I want to also go ahead and again thank you guys for subscribing. I've gotten. Uh, you know, uh, two more subscribers in the last two days, which is something I rarely do. Um, gotten more views, and so thank you very much. Um, and I also want to say, keep it up, and I'll have another short up for you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, here's some more of Possession by Cream with uh, their song, Living So Close to the Edge. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Unfamiliar Fridays and then also uh, the news, my bounty, so much more. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys be good to yourselves and be good to each other. All right, see ya. Jake's Bounty was formed at, film, uh, filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2022. You can follow us on Facebook, his channel's website. Leave a like, leave a comment. As always, please subscribe.